afternoon or evening. If you're here, that means that you love Elvis and he loves you. So thank you, thank you very much. And it means that you wanna see a perhaps miraculous unexplained photo that I believe he sent to me to share with you. You wanna see that photo and not listen to me talk and talk and talk and talk. So I don't want this to be clickbait. Let me show you the picture right away and then once you've seen it, if your time is scarce and valuable, then have a great afternoon, morning, evening, night, whatever. But if you've got some time, stick around. Let me tell you the story of how this picture was given and sent to me, I think by Elvis and Jesus together working in harmony. But first, let me show you the picture. I'll show you, just so you can see, it's on my phone here, I've got face ID. Okay, so, okay, lots of cat photos on here. Uh, lots of flower photos, lots of food photos, um, photos of Noah's Ark in Kentucky, and then Graceland, the vigil the night before, and then went not far enough. Okay, so the photo itself, I'm still looking, I went too far, <laughs> I'm so prepared, okay, there it is. That's it right there. Now, I'm gonna cut here and show you the zoomed in picture so you can see it up close and we'll look at it closely together and you can decide for yourself. And then while I'm hopefully editing that photo in right now, let me just talk a little bit about it. You tell me down in the comments what you think it looks like I've heard people say it looks like Baby Yoda down in the orb of light coming from Elvis's bedroom window. Mm -hmm. I think it looks like a dove coming down with peace. But you look for yourself. Don't let me influence you. You tell me. And then if you look up in the clouds, some people have told me that they think the cloud formation up here in the corner could resemble Lisa Marie up in heaven with her arms stretched out, smiling down upon Graceland. Who knows? But I think that the big thing in the picture is this green glowing dove is what I think it is. But why do I think it's a dove? Well, okay, so that's the photo. That's it. There it is. <laughs> now, there is another miraculous unexplained part to this photo that I will get to, but that's basically it. So if you just wanted to see the photo, there it is. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming and stopping by and seeing it. And go to Graceland someday and visit yourself. It was fantastic, but I'll get more into that as we go along. But if you've got, I don't know how long this is going to be, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, if you've got the time, come a little closer, get some um, Diet Dr. Pepper and a fried peanut butter and banana and maybe some bacon sandwich and let's just talk about Elvis and Jesus and this photo and how it came and what I think it means to me and to everybody. So where do we start? Where do we start? Um, what well, starts in this very room about like, well I was five years old, five and six, seven years old. So decades ago um, in this, right here, in this spot, right here, my mama used to put up her ironing board and she would iron our clothes and everything. And as she would iron, this will be dating myself, but she would be listening to her eight tracks. <laughs> and, um, I mean, there were at that point in history, cassette tapes and I think CDs probably by then, but we had eight tracks and uh, the records, LPs. Anyway, and we still have them down in the basement. Anyway. <laughs> She'd be listening to her eight tracks and she'd be ironing away. And ones I remember, lots of Patsy Cline. Crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. You walk by and I fall to pieces. Lots of Dolly Parton working nine to five. But she'd listen to all those. But there were certain songs that she would listen to over and over and over again. Like, look like an angel. Talk like an angel, walk like an angel, but I got wise. You devil in the sky. Oh, yes, you are. Elvis Presley. 
She loved Elvis, and so of course I loved Elvis too. And we'd listen to those who had iron. That is important because, well, a year ago, not even that, six months ago, today I've got, <laughs> I've got my Thanksgiving tree up here still. Today in the real world here, it is December 31st, 2023. And I never like redecorated my Thanksgiving tree. It's been up a year now. It's been up since last Christmas. And I decorated it for every holiday, but I haven't redecorated it. But anyway, about six months ago, oh, it's a long story. So my sister and niece live down in Indianapolis, which is about two and a half hours from up here, up north, Michigan. And my sister, invited my mom to come down for the summer because my niece, you know, didn't have school and didn't want to go to camp and things. So who could watch her? My mom could watch her. My mom's retired now. So before my mom left, I said it was her birthday. Must have been her Mother's Day. No, it was Mother's Day because it was before she left. So it was Mother's Day. I got her a Mother's Day present that I thought maybe she'd like. Ho, 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 ho. Elvis with Austin Butler, who did a fantastic job, and Tom Hanks as Colonel Parker, Urgh, but he did a good job too. Everybody did a good job. Music was fantastic, like, good job all around. So we, I watched this movie with my mom, and we were watching it together, and we were eating the popcorn and stuff, and she's talking through the whole movie, which is normal, like, well, that's what she does, and she's explaining to me, oh, I remember that. I mean, she lived through all of this. And I, watching this movie, and like, just hearing the hype over the years, I had just assumed a little bit of exaggeration, you know, maybe they make Elvis look a little bit more popular than maybe, no. <laughs> According to my mama, who lived through all of this, like, girl, women and, and young ladies and girls really did go nuts and faint and pass out and throw their things up on stage, I, like, this is pretty accurate. So she's watching the whole movie, and she's laughing, and she's singing along, and she's enjoying all that. Okay. If you have not seen this movie, spoiler is coming up now. So in about like 30 seconds, so just skip ahead, but it's not. Anyway, the final scene of this movie, so Austin Butler is being portraying Elvis throughout the entire movie, except as a young boy, you know, Elvis, but he does a great job. But in the final scene, they bring out actual footage from the real Elvises, I think it was his final performance, which I think was in 1977 in Indianapolis, but I'm not sure if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments. But it's the real Elvis. So my mom, who the whole movie has just been, you know, just really enjoying this, as soon as she sees the real Elvis and he's singing the Unchained Melody, she burst into tears, like out of nowhere. And I looked at her, I was like, Mom, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, I, I just really miss him. And I was like, dang, like my mom really loves Elvis. So I put that in the back of my head. My mom really loves Elvis. Okay, fast forward. Mom went down to Indianapolis for the whole summer and she was gone the whole summer and I had the house to myself and it was really nice. And she had a good summer too, but she worked hard babysitting and cleaning house down there and everything. So I wanted to reward her. And this was her birthday, for her birthday present. I'm the youngest of four kids. So, you know, how do I prove myself the golden child? <laughs> well, <laughs> mom, I have, a, I have two, uh, my mom has two sisters, I have two aunts. The younger of the two has been to Noah's Ark. I'm going somewhere with this. This has to do with Elvis in the picture. Went to Noah's Ark and she loved it. She's been there twice and my mom really wanted to go. And I'd like to go and see it too. So, I went down to pick up my mom in Indianapolis. And we spent the night. We had a nice dinner and it was wonderful. Story is there too, but that's for another video. When I got my mom in the car, she thinks we're going home and she really wants to go home. She's been gone like three months. She thinks we're going home. Oh, I got a commercial on here in North Elvis. I can see it in the, there we go. Back to our regularly scheduled program, Elvis. <laughs> I don't know who made the slideshow, but it's really good and good work. I'll, do some research and give some credits on here. Anyway, we get in the car. I'm like, Mom, guess what? We're not going back up to Michigan right away. First, we're going south to Kentucky, to at Williamsburg, Williamton, Kentucky, to Noah's Ark. And she was really, I mean, she wanted to go home, but she was a good sport and she was really excited. And she's like, well, that's gonna be a lot of driving. I'm like, yeah, it's okay. 
So we're driving and we're watching Elvis movie. Well, she's, I'm listening, but she's watching Elvis movies on the portable DVD player. What did we watch? I don't know. Uh, State Fair and Blue Hawaii. I don't know what, what the, the Jailhouse Rock, just Elvis movies. And we're driving down there. Long story short, we're singing to Elvis. And we get to Kentucky, we go through Noah's Ark. This has nothing to do with Elvis here, but it is really cool. Like, it, it was worth the drive, and there's dinosaurs there, which, I mean, the Bible doesn't say there aren't dinosaurs, but, but it was cool for the kids. But all the people were friendly. Oh, I gotta tell you this too. So my mom just turned 79 or 80. I think she's 79. And she's perfectly healthy, but I mean, she can't walk all day. So I brought Dad's, Dad passed away, but we still have his wheelchair. I brought Dad's wheelchair, and we put her in the wheelchair, and I'm pushing around. Well, you know, 99% of the people at Noah's Ark are fundamentalist, born-again Christians. They were so friendly and accommodating, and you know, we were just walking around and things, and it was just great. And at one point, there was a, um, a step, just a little one, but I couldn't really get the wheelchair over it. So I said, Mom, you're gonna have to get up so I can get the wheelchair over this. So she you know, got up and you know brushed herself off. The people looked at her and I said, It's a miracle! Jesus he loved her! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Praise God. Anyway, so the whole point, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but one of the songs that mom also would be listening to when she was ironing was on the wings of a snow white dove he sent his pure sweet love a sign from above on the wings of a dove so which has to do with noah when noah had drifted on the flood many days he searched for land in various ways troubles he had somebody wasn't forgotten god sent him his love on the wings of a dove so my plan, just this is going to be beautiful, my plan was to go through all of Noah's Ark and see all the exhibits and, the, the, and at the very end I was just sure that there would be a statue of Noah with the dove coming down with the olive branch and the sign of peace and the rainbow and it's like this would be, I was going to hold mom's hand and we were going to sing on the wings of a snow white dove. He's, well, there is no dove coming down to Noah's statue at the end of the Ark. Like, I loved it, and I, I don't want to talk bad, and this isn't anything bad, but the exhibit journey does not end with the dove coming down and Noah, and, you know, it ends at the gift shop, which I bought lots of nice things, but the, but the, but I was really disappointed. <laughs> so, so I told Mom, I'm like, I wanted to sing my song and blah, 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 and they have a petting zoo there, like a zoo and part of it's a petting zoo. There were no doves there that I saw. So anyway, I told mom this, and she's like, oh, you know, honey, that's nice, we'll sing in the car. So we did, we sang on the wings of Snow White Dove as we're driving. So we're driving, and she said, well, this is gonna be a long drive to get back tonight. I mean, it's already like three in the afternoon. Oh, I didn't tell you. It was three in the afternoon on, this must have been then August 14th, because I think Elvis died on the 15th, or maybe he died on the 16th and it was the 15th. I'm not positive, so sorry. I should do, do my research before I do this video. But anyway, we, anyway, so we're driving and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and mom says it's gonna be a long drive. I said, well, you know, I got us a hotel room. And she said, oh, okay. I said, but there's a, just one little problem. What? Well, the problem is the hotel room is about six and a half hours away the only one I could find, um, it's in Memphis, Tennessee. And she said, Memphis, Tennessee? Is she doing for two? I said, yeah, um, it's just about a mile from Graceland. <laughs> she was so excited. So we drove to Graceland and we watched more Elvis and we listened to some more Elvis songs and sang along. It was great. Anyway, long story short, it's such a long story. So we got there about 10.30 at night or so. It was whichever night it was. I'm so sorry, Elvis. I don't remember if he died on the 15th or the 16th, but it was the night before. So the candlelight vigil was going on. So we got to our hotel. We got some problems getting in, but it all worked out fine. We got in there and the concierge was like, oh, are you here to you know go visit? I'm like, yeah, we're going to visit Elvis. Oh, that's great. And the hotel was just like 1.1 miles away. So I told the lady, I'm like, we're just going to walk. I'm going to push my mom in a wheelchair. She said, oh, honey, don't do that. I'm like, why not? No, no, don't just like, okay. I was afraid we wouldn't get parking. Long story short, we drove there. The like, they treated us just like royalty. I guess we're pretty late. But I mean, the vigil was still going on. So the police like opened up the barricade. 
arcades and let me drive through and I got fantastic parking right up front and it was amazing. We walked by the Lisa Marie private jet and oh, it's, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show pictures of, of, of the candlelight vigil and like, you know, people brought um, things. Like, I brought special candles and things, and, and I took the ones that they gave us too, I still have those. But we brought special candles, and like some people brought flowers or teddy bears or things to put on Elvis's grave. I'm not bragging here, I'm not bragging, I just want to, for full disclosure, I wrote a private personal note just to Elvis, telling him how wonderful I thought he was. Okay, and let's take a break right there. I have read, I haven't seen Priscilla yet, but I've read the book. So I read this once I cut back from Graceland. I read the book. And I also read the um, Elvis What Happened book, which was published a couple weeks or months before his passing, and by some members of ex-members of the Memphis Mafia. You know, like he wasn't perfect. Like saying here's a miraculous photo. I'm not saying he's a canonized saint, but I don't think he's in heaven. Because, first of all, just the generosity of spirit and his goodness and his kindness and his patience putting up with so many people for so long and just his love of the Lord and Bible and spirituality and willingness to preach and teach and was he perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. And that's what I want to say. If someone took all the worst things I've ever done and put them in one book, <laughs> that'd make me look pretty bad. So when I read the Elvis What Happened book, if that's the worst he's ever done, oh good lord, I mean literally good lord, Jesus is welcoming him home to heaven. Anyway, so I wrote my letter and I put it down there just thanking him for his gift to the world and I said other private things in there that are just between him and me, or so I thought. Jumping forward just a little bit, next day, mom and I, we spent the night at the hotel, um, not the Graceland Hotel because it was Elvis week and it was super expensive, but if you're going to go to Graceland, stay at the Graceland Hotel. It is beautiful and it's right there. And if you don't go during Elvis week, the rates are absolutely reasonable. So we went back the next day. We had the VIP tour, which I absolutely recommend. Our tour guide was Liz. Hi, Liz. Hope you're watching this. Like I really made this for you because I sent these photos in an email to Graceland, but I never got, I just not try, got a response but never got like, which I didn't expect them to give me your personal contact information, but you were fantastic and you just made the trip. So Liz was giving us a tour. She said, you know, Elvis still gets letters and fan mail to this day. And she said, and we read every letter he gets. And I was like, what? I'm like, what if they're private? <laughs> She said, oh no, maybe someone's asking for help. And we read, I was like, oh boy. So, so you know, I, I think I signed my name in. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, she also said the horses there in the stables, they still get fan mail too. And they read the letters to, out loud to the horses. I said, you people read letters to horses? She said, yeah. I said, well, if that's the case from now on, I'm going to write a 50 page letter every day to these horses. And she said, that'd be just fine. We get paid by the hour. <laughs> You need to go to Graceland. Anyway, let me get to the photo then. So um, we're about to enter the mansion. And this is like, I, I well, oh, I didn't say that. So um, when I got the tickets to Graceland, I wanted to get tickets on this special day, which is also the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, if you're Catholic. Um, it's a really important day to my mom. So I went to Graceland website to get tickets there were only two left VIP tours, so like, I got us. This was just meant to be. So we get there, and I really, if you can't tell, with Mary over my head there, and you know, talking about Jesus, I'm pretty spiritual. I really wanted to go up and just say a prayer in the bathroom where Elvis, Liz said he did not pass away there. He was taken from the mansion to the, ho to the hotel, to the hospital where he was declared, but other sources say he, who knows? But I just wanted to go in that bathroom and just say a prayer of gratitude for him and for the Lord sending him to us and just praying for his whole family and everybody, Priscilla, everyone. But Liz said, you can't go upstairs. I was like, what? I paid for the VIP tour. Well, no. Well, this has changed now. His granddaughter, Riley, I think is opening up the second floor. So I'm going to have to go back to Graceland and I'll stay in the hotel. But um, six months ago, we could not go upstairs. And I asked Liz, I'm like, well, what would happen if I'd go upstairs? She said, well, you'd probably, you know, 
be escorted out and perhaps arrested for trespassing. I said, oh, so, I said, well, what's it like? She said, I've never been up there. I said, well, you work here. She said, I do work here, but I've never been up here. I want to make sure it's still recording audio. It is. Oh, and we got another. Just... There you go. So she's never been upstairs either. So anyway, she, but she said, so we can't go in the bathroom, but it's right there above the main door. She said, you can't go in the bathroom, but right there is Elvis's bedroom window. So she pointed it out. And that's when I took the photo. Excuse me. That's when I took the photo. And I didn't notice any, I mean, I didn't notice anything strange at all. I just went on with the whole tour and took like 13, excuse me, 1300 more photos. It was later that evening after the whole tour was, no, it was two days later because the tour was done. We stayed till like 7.30 at night. You have to eat at Gladys's Cafe. You, you come hungry. You've got to eat at um, Vernon's, the, the smokehouse. Oh, my mouth was watering right now. It was, it was so good. It was so good. Um, and then the tours, like, I don't know who all is in charge of just displaying the artifacts and exhibits, but they were just phenomenal. And not over, it wasn't too much. It, it was enough that if you took your time, I didn't take my time. Mom and I did not, I, I just took pictures of everything and said, I'm gonna go back and look at the pictures later and read. Like if you took your time, it would probably take two or three days, honestly, just to really see everything. We did, like eight and a half hours, I took pictures of everything. But anyway, point is, go back to Indianapolis, sleep a couple hours, go back home, go to work, blah, blah, blah. That weekend, uh, I started looking through my pictures. And lo and behold, I saw what looked to me like the wings of a snow white dove coming down with peace and love from Elvis's window to bless me. But since you have spent, I don't know how long this is, 21 minutes already. Since you spent this long, I wanna show you, this is what really, now I say freaks me out, but this is what I cannot explain. So if we go back, this is an iPhone, I think it's a 14. It's, it's, a, it's the newest, but not a 15, I guess, so yeah, it's 14. I had an iPhone 6 for like eight years or something, so like, this, the battery is phenomenal. Anyway, and it takes great pictures, as you see. But as you know, if you have an iPhone yourself, you'll know how they work with screenshots and live photos. I don't take live photos because it takes up extra memory and I don't need that. So none of these photos are live, so they shouldn't change. If we, let me face, so I can only do this once. It only does it like one at one time at a time and then it stops. But if I, I'm gonna try to do it, if it doesn't work, I'll just wait a little bit and see if it does it again. But when I press the photo, watch down in the bottom in the heart of the dove and tell me what you see. Here it comes. I didn't see it in the, I don't know if it appeared or not. I think it did. I'll do it again with maybe macro lens or something else. But if I come closer, I can see it in the viewfinder of the camera here. In the heart of the dub, do you see there's an orb of light, a round ball, an orb of light in that dove? Now here's the really strange part. Let me back up. Okay. Oh, you can see it real well, okay, there. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, just a normal screenshot. There I did. In the screenshot, there's no orb of light. This is giving me chills right now. I can't explain this. I have shown this to all kinds of people. I haven't taken it to the Apple store. There it is. Look. There. You can see the orb of light in the screenshot. It's not there. Can you explain this? And I, I don't know if you could see real well how it appears. Like, they won't do it now because it's in there now. But like, when I go away, there's this bathroom, and come back, 
it's there now, but like, I don't know how long I have to wait. It's like once a day or every five minutes. I don't know. I will try when I get done recording this to zoom in better and like let you, it, it, when you first look at the photo, it's not there. And then as you watch it over like a second and a half, it appears. That's orb of light. I've shown this to people. People are freaked out. They're like, well, how do you do that? I'm like, I don't, it's not a live photo. Nothing should be changing in this photo as you look at it through time. And when you take a screenshot, a screenshot should be exactly what's on the screen. And it gets even stranger. So, so I mean, I was showing this to everybody, like strangers. I went to go pick up business cards at work. I was like, look at this. And the guy's like, whoa, I like Elvis too. I'm like, well, of course you do. Everyone likes Elvis. Elvis got me a discount on mulch. I went, <laughs> I went up, <laughs> I went up to a nursery nearby and I noticed they had an Elvis calendar on the wall. I was like, hey, I was like, look at this. And she's like, whoa. And she charged me like, I don't know, probably like 40 cubic yards when I got probably 60 cubic yards. No, not, not that much mulch. That's way too much. She charged me probably like two cubic yards when I got like four and a half or five cubic yards of mulch. But anyway, God bless her, it's fantastic. Anyway, okay, so I'm showing this to everyone. After Halloween, I went to show it to somebody. I don't remember who it was. I think it was just a customer at work. I'm like, look at this. And the orb of light didn't appear. And I was like, what? And it made me look like a liar because I'm talking about it. It didn't appear. It was like, it was not there in the original photo. It was not there. It looked just like a screenshot. It was not there. It did not appear. And I like turned, I turned my phone off, turned it back on. Nothing. It, it did not appear. I was like, what happened? Let me skip this real fast. And I will tell you what happened. What happened was Halloween came in between. And for Halloween, I'll put pictures of this up here now too. I was going to be Count Strahd von Zarovich, the vampire, for Halloween. And blah, blah, blah. Long story short, the wig, my hair should have been like slicked back and it, it didn't work. So I did not look like Strahd von Zarovich. But I was like, hey, I mean, Elvis has been on my mind a lot lately. I'm like, I look like Elvis. So I was just telling all the people, hey, I, oh, that's who it was. It was a trick-or-treater. <laughs> I was telling all the people, I'm Vampire Elvis. And one trick-or-treater mom was like, oh, we love Elvis. I was like, well, look at this. And it didn't do it. That's who it was. And I was like, whoa. And I felt, I was like, uh-oh. Like, I, did I offend Elvis? Like, I felt pretty bad about this. So after Halloween, I got all makeup off and everything. And like, I kept checking it. Like, it didn't do it. So I was like, Elvis. Buddy, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Like, I really didn't mean to offend you at all, and it was not my intention, and uh, you know, please forgive me, and let's be friends. Still, please. And lo and behold, after I apologized, it does it again. And I told Elvis, I was like, if, if you can do in Jesus, because I, I mean, I don't think like Elvis, even in heaven, would have, like, miraculous powers, but, you know, working with the Lord, they can get some stuff done, taking care of business. I said, if you will do it again, I will record this and put it on YouTube and people can see it and, and you know, make their own conclusions. So, so, and it now, and it does it again. So now you have seen it, you can make your own conclusions. If you are an engineer, a software engineer at Apple and you can explain why this happened, please don't tell me. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm just happy thinking that this was a special sign from God through Elvis to me and through me to the whole world that God does send us his peace and his love on the wings of a dove and that there is life after death and that the good that we do in this life is not forgotten. Elvis was so afraid he'd be forgotten. How could that be? Like when, when we receive these talents from the Lord and we multiply them and we use them to make the world a better place and to be a light shining in the darkness, I mean, that goodness echoes on through the generations for all eternity, and our reward will be great in heaven. So I guess my last thing I wanted to mention on here was, well, you know, why am I so special? Why would this happen to me? Maybe I'm not. Maybe if you've been to Graceland, you need to go look through all your photos. I still need to look through all my other photos, because who knows what else is in there. I just, you know, life's busy. But I think it wasn't me. I think it was my mama because Elvis loved his mama, Gladys, and I love my mama, Sue, and Jesus loves his mama, Mary. 
So I just think there's a thing about, you know, young men who love their mamas, they stick together, they help each other out, and we walk together through this journey. So that has now been 29 minutes and 12 seconds. That is not so bad. So I'll tell you what, I said 20 to 30 minutes. I don't think there's anything else I need to talk about on here. You tell me in the comments what you think. Like, and it, hey, and if you got, I don't know if you can put pictures in comments on YouTube or anything, but, you know, share. Share the Elvis love, share the Jesus love. And there's, oh, and what I'm planning on doing now, so today is December 31st, 2023, recording this. I want to get this up on January 6th for Elvis's birthday. So that gives me a week to video edit and sound edit and put some background music and stuff in which will all be me. The background music will be me on instruments and who knows. What I, if, if I get done, hopefully my plan is to work today and tomorrow, New Year's Day, I've got the day off so I can hopefully get a lot done. My plan is then at the end now, from here on out, to just put some slideshows of the best of the best pictures of Noah's Ark and Graceland. I, I just want to put everything up from Graceland, but I don't know how much Graceland... Now, they said if you share your pictures, they like that. But, I mean, I don't want to steal the thunder. You need... If, you, if you've if you just watched a half an hour about a picture from Elvis, from a stranger, <laughs> you need to go to Graceland. So go have a wonderful time and, and take your own pictures and then upload them. But I do want to put a little slideshow on here. Don't know how long it'll be, but if it's not real long and you want to see more, put that in the comments and maybe I can make a longer one at some other point. Guess, oh, the final thing I wanted to say. So my mom, we did the same thing at Graceland. She was in the wheelchair, and there were some curbs and some doors, and people would, people were so gracious. They were Southern hospitality, and, and not just Southern hospitality. I mean, there were people from all over the world. I met people from France and Germany and Switzerland and England. I stood in line by people from England. It was just, it was phenomenal. But people would open the doors for us and help us get in. I'd say, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> they would jump. They just like... And then, and then um, at one point there was a curb and I had to ask mom to get up again and walk. And people looked and said, Elvis healed her. <laughs> oh, Lord be praised. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now because this entire thing, as you can tell, was unscripted. And this was one take. I've been, I mean, I've been thinking about this since Halloween. Oh, we got another commercial. I've been thinking about what I wanted to say since Halloween, but I didn't write it down or anything. So I hope this was okay. And Elvis, hope you're proud of me. And I hope you keep watching over me and all of us so that we can follow your example as best we can of generosity, of, of humility, of perseverance, of forgiveness, of sharing our talents with the world, of not being perfect. But you know what Elvis wasn't? He wasn't a hypocrite. I would much rather have someone who makes some mistakes, human weakness and errors, and doesn't claim to be perfect, than have some people who think that they're just God's gift to the world and, you know, are completely different behind this. Anyway, now I'm rambling. You keep up the good work. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Keep listening to Elvis and to Jesus and the Holy Spirit and opening your heart to this gifts of love on the wings of a dove. And the last thing I want to say for having watched this video is thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I used the time to look through my Elvis book, find some songs, Miracle of the Holy Rosary. That's got to go in there when we're talking about young men loving their mamas. And then I also found, this is exciting, I found the Also Sprach Zarathustra. <laughs> March, which is the dum 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 dum, so we can put that at the beginning. But let's see if it'll happen again. Ready? Here we go. Let's try this. Okay, so it's gonna be right here at the bottom. Slide. Okay. Oh, I. Well, it did it, but I was too high. Okay, one more time. Okay, it's been about ten minutes. So, boy, my phone is sort of dirty. Yeah, Elvis is laughing at that. So let's see if we come on here. There's me. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're going to turn it on. Face ID. Okay, you can see all the games I play. <laughs> okay, so we'll see if it happens. There. I think, did you see it? Right there, did you see it? It wasn't there and then it appeared? I'm going to 
you know what? I'm going to leave it just like that. No, I'm, I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to turn, oh, so there it is. I'm going to turn my phone off another 10 minutes and we'll turn it back on and see what happens again. Um, real quick though, let's just together, let's see who made this awesome slideshow. Beautiful, relaxed music, Elvis Presley pictures. I can't read that far. Ben Quint, six years ago, 20,000 views. Ben Quint, you did a great job. Thank you, thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Okay, I'm gonna keep it right up here. Keep it close so we can see it. Okay, there. There. Did you see it? Did you see it? Okay, now once again, there it is. Screenshot. Not in the screenshot. Cannot explain it. So that's my story. That's my video. Thank you for watching. And the Lord be with you. And may Elvis send the Lord's peace and love on the wings of a dove down to you and all your loved ones. And, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. And this is Elvis. No, it's not. This is Lola. <laughs> She's a little kitty. But she wanted to be in the video too. And she's been so good and quiet the whole time. Now we're going to go have lunch. A little bit of peanut butter and banana and bacon sandwiches. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs> See you next time. Okay, I want to do this just one more time. And then I want to real fast show you how many pictures I'm not going to be able to show you. So let's see, roses, me, at work. Okay, Noah's Ark. <laughs> Lots of Noah's Ark. There's Mama. Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark. Vigil. Elvis's. Don't know where that. Oh, that's inside the Lisa Marie private jet. Elvis's cars. Then inside the mansion, his basement with the weird monkey statue thing. <laughs> in the billiard room, and the jungle room, and outside, and then the trophy room, and displays, portrait of Elvis, his grave, yeah, with my letter on there, and there's us, mom and I, and there's Liz, hi Liz, you were so great, thank you, thank you very much, she was so great, and then the museums, it was so cool, 1968, the, I was most impressed by his wardrobe. That was just, <laughs> whoa, every color that you can imagine. And then his wartime, and and then I guess that's it, and then we're to food. But then the last thing I'll show you, and then, then we're done, and then a little slideshow I'm working on right now, a perler bead for outdoors. It's not focusing, but perler bead Elvis for my backyard. So hopefully when that gets done, yeah, it's not focusing. When it gets done, I can show you. But that is it. No more encores. We're done. <laughs> I'm going to start video editing now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And have yourselves a great afternoon, morning, evening, or night. Goodbye.